Hello and welcome back to the Great British Fishing Show. Today we are out here in the garage. I'm going to do some boat preparation just to get the boat ready to go out for the spring. Um, I know that a lot of YouTubers on the south coast have been going out on their boats already. But uh, up here in Scotland, it's uh, let's say the weather's a little bit more harsh. So we're going to get the boat ready and just do a few little things. And I'm going to go walk through them with you just to make sure that we have everything ready for the boat. So let's go. So we're going to grab the life jackets. So first things first is essential health and safety, making sure that everything's okay. Make sure that they've not been inflated. These are 150 Newton uh, Sigma life jackets. You put them on like this and then they tie, tie, up, tie them up at the front. They're, uh, if you peel them back here, I'll bring you in close and I'll show you from here. But if you peel back, you can see there's the canister in there. And these are a manual, so if we pull this, then it inflates. And they're high vis, they have a whistle and they usually have a little bit of a they have a bit of um, a tube where you can blow extra air if you need to as well. So I'm just gonna have a look over these and uh, make sure that everything's okay. Got a second one here matching exactly the same. Just gonna double check to make sure that cancer's alright. What you're looking for is just to make sure that there's no damage to the canister. Um, and what I do is just make sure that they're all right, that they've not been pulled or set off, so that you can easily access the, the pull cord here, and then just tuck them away. And the canisters, they don't last forever, but they do last for a good while, um, and I advise just to replace them every, every couple of years. Um, I usually do mine every two years, so yeah. Just making sure that everything is easy at hand so when I do go out I can just grab whatever I need. So yeah, just check each of the fenders, making sure that they're not overinflated. These ones I like mine a little bit soft so I've got a bit of give. So I have the a nut in the end. That goes over the end of the cleat and then just a couple of knots to go around the, around the cleat and hold it on. So, uh, so I'm gonna, I've got my rope, I've got a, another piece of rope underneath here as well. Um, this one's 40 foot, this one's 15 foot, um, and it's basically to, I use that to cast and retrieve the boat and um, it's good always to have a nice long length of line of rope sorry so that you can not get your feet wet every so down here back there I have my trailer board as you can imagine I'm not going to show my number plate but uh, it's very important to have your trailer board and I'll be checking that 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 works as well um, in case there's anything wrong with that so for what I do is in here, I have my heavies. So just a little bit of rope. I usually use this rope just for the trailer board, just to attach it to the back of the, the boat. Sorry, I got a van coming through. I have the hitch, the trailer hitch, which I take off just for added security purposes. Um, I do have two anchors. I don't really use this one. Um, they're both three kilograms, but uh, like I said, I don't really use this one. I'm not sure what this kind of anchor is called, but uh, this one is one that I usually use. It's uh, it's five pounds. It's a five pound anchor. And I have take that out of there, and I have. So I've got around 10, 10 feet of chain 
um, and then I attach my rope to the end here. Um, I have ordered some additional rope because I'll be taking the boat out in the sea, so we'll uh, be fishing a bit for a bit more of a depth rather than just on the locks and lakes. So yeah, just a bit of a uh, WD-40 in there, just to loosen it off, just so that I can make sure I can get a good twist that it's not locking up. Most important thing is to, is to keep everything organised. So I do have a few ratchet straps, as you can see I've got two hung up here, they're the ratchet straps there, but I also have one here which just mainly helps to hold the boat on um, onto the trailer which is connected underneath when it runs along and I've also got one at the front walk up just got one at the front hooked on the cleat and it's just tied around here because I don't have I'd like to get an extra chain just to go around to hold on and then I can get rid of this and the back one I'm going to check over all the cleats I'm going to jump in and just make sure that all the wiring is connected up properly, that there's no splits in any of the tubing. Um, make sure that the fish finder is plugged in. When it's when it's plugged in, it's working. As I said, check the ledger battery. So, set I've got a couple of rod holders here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole here and fit some sunken rod holders as well and as you can see obviously over there I've got the three rod holders just to keep the rods out of the way so I have a 14 foot Jean fishing boat I have the lap flooring I've got some rod holders uh, we're going to check the ledger battery which is in there and um, we're just going to make sure that everything's sorted we're going to check the the fuel we have a two liter no uh, sorry a two stroke 25 horsepower johnson outboard just step back and give you a view there so yeah we're just going to go over make sure that the wheels are okay um, I've already checked the engine, so uh, I know that she's pumping fine, she had a recent service, so I, I know that she's okay, but uh, just yeah, go over, double check everything else, make sure that everything else is fine. So one of my biggest pet peeves is people standing on their boats, and especially on the wheel arches, so what I do is I just grab stool make sure you can step up onto the boat rather than standing on on the boat and damaging damaging the boat so let's step up in here we're just going to check the electronics to make sure that they're all working so yeah we're inside the cabin now we're just going to check the ledger battery and i'll show you what i do with the, the wiring whilst I'm not whilst the, the battery's not in use. So yeah, we just plug this in here, and then well, well we got 11.9, so it's pretty much fully charged. We've got a good amount of power from there. We'll uh, switch these bad boys on, and we'll just quickly pop out, check on the nav lights. Working fine that side. Working fine that side. Yeah. So we just want to do that. And I've got two USB ports here, so I can charge my 
phone or my camera battery if they die. I have cover for this to make sure that everything's tucked away. And I'll pull this back out. The wires just tuck in there. That seals that down. And then I have a strap that goes over it for when when we're travelling. It just goes through the two little slots either side and ties down. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I've checked all of the pipe work. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some organisation on these here with the wires. I'm just gonna tidy it up a little bit um, and fix any electrical tape that's hanging down but yeah I've checked the fuel line has all been checked and it's all fine any areas have been tightened up and checked the steering cable um, so yeah everything is okay I'm just going to leave it there. It was just a quick video to go over a few things that I checked for the boat. I'm going to put it all, put the fish finder and things away now. Um, and there will be continual process over the next few days to weeks um, of just going over a few things just to make sure I've got everything ready for when we take the boat out. But I'm grateful that you've watched the video with me. Um, I hope that you've learned one or two things. Maybe if you're preparing your own boat to take it out soon, or if you're packing it away, to look for things to check and, and to make sure that things are organised and stay safe. But uh, if you like, I just want to say thank you for everybody that has been liking my videos and subscribing. Um, I'm very grateful, so if you keep on subscribing and liking, I'll be very grateful. Let's see if we can hit 10 likes for this video. So, all the best, and see you later.